Good morning. Good morning. We are extremely pleased that you are here. It is good to come together for the purpose of co-creating. Do you agree? Yes. You are knowing what you are wanting? Yes. It evolves. Yes. You like that? Yes. You are all right with having a desire that has not manifested? Yes. When you have desires that have not yet manifested fully, but you are still feeling good, that means you are in vibrational resonance with the fulfillment of the desire which means you're on the path you're on the track it means you're not introducing any resistance with your awareness that it hasn't happened yet and in that not introducing of resistance and in that resonance with it then not only must it come and relatively soon but you're having a nice ride on the way to it that's nice isn't it it's hard for you to hear but it's that ride on the way to it that you all came for none of you said I'll go there and get it done because you all knew that there is no getting it done you knew that you never get it done you knew that you can't get it wrong and you never get it done and you expected it to be pleasurable along the way so if it's pleasurable along the way then all is well you're in resonance you're fulfilling your reason for being here you're tuned in tapped in turned on life is unfolding just the way you planned but if you're feeling anxious or frustration or anger or guilt or blame or worse if you're feeling depressed or powerless then those feelings are an indication that whatever you're focused upon has got a vibration activated within you that is causing you to introduce resistance into your vibrational equation and everything about your happiness everything about your productivity everything about your success and from our point of view success really is happiness but you call it other things like gathering of assets or gathering of wonderful relationships all of that we want all of that for you but when you begin understanding the balance of energy within you and you understand that everything is only about that then life becomes fun we get why you don't really know that it's about your own vibrational balance because your own vibrational balance is so often affected by your observation of what's going on with others so you associate it with them rather than with you you don't accept that it's a focusing thing with you you think it's a behavioral thing with them that you just happen to be focused upon if you weren't doing that I wouldn't be noticing it so if you'll stop doing it I'll feel better and we say if you'll stop noticing it you'll feel better too yeah but they're doing it right in front of me <laughs> and how can I not notice something that's going on right in front of me well you have to practice yeah but if I ignore them then there's a whole world of pain around that and we say you sort of do that to each other as you got started early on you noticed that your behavior did affect opinions of others and so we're just gonna say to you in a very blunt way just to get things off on the right foot here you played to their opinion instead of to your own alignment without meaning to you played to their opinions which meant you separated yourself from your own vibrational guidance system that let you know what the balance of vibration going on within you is and so as you become less aware we're not talking about you specifically but mass consciousness in general who is made up of a lot of yous became sort of detached from what felt good to you as you began to play to what felt good to others and in the process you sort of lost yourself and that's really what this gathering is about it's about helping you to push the reset button to restore yourself to your own guidance system because when you are able to understand the vibration that you're offering in relationship to the vibration of that larger part of you and you're able to bring yourself into vibrational alignment that's where ease is that's when you feel clarity 
that's when you feel vitality that's when you are at your most frisky that's when you feel the most adventurous that's when you feel the most eager and passionate about life that's when you feel appreciation and love when you feel any of those emotions you're not experiencing any split energy you've not introduced in this moment which is where all your power is and where all your guidance is where all your emotion is where all your resonance or not is when you feel your emotions your emotions are letting you know what your vibrational mix is and if you don't pay attention to what your mix is it just becomes a stronger mix because law of attraction is a very powerful thing isn't it when you think a thought and you focus there for as little as 17 seconds momentum ensues because once you cross that 17 second mark another thought like it joins it and as you keep that going more and more and more momentum happens which means more and more attraction power you came specifically wanting to express yourself in an environment where your thoughts produced response because you are a creator and creating is something that is your nature but it is also something that is your life it is also something that is the reason for the expansion of all that is so the very continuation of that which we all are is about new thoughts new ideas new expansion so you knew that this time space reality would be a perfect environment with enough variety that you would be able to focus yourself within it and come to your own personal choices and you also knew that without that variety that you could not focus and you also knew that the choices that you made or would be making are important you came expecting there to be enough variety that you would come to your own conclusions that your own personal desires would hatch within you and you knew that that hatching of a new desire and that movement of the energy that happens when a new desire is hatched you knew that that would be life-giving you almost knew that it would be breathtaking you knew that you would like it and so you came forth you were non-physical energy before you came into this physical body and even though you're in this physical body there's a larger part of you who still remains that non-physical energy so you have the potential in your physical body to become in any moment a vibrational match to that broader perspective or to separate yourself from it now isn't it logical that there would be a sort of normal separation as you are reaching into that which is new if source energy has become as a result of all that has been lived then isn't it logical that you've come forth into a new environment to go into new expansive experiences and when you do there is a momentary and we're using that word lightly we would like it to be a momentary there is a momentary separation is too strong of word but difference in your vibration in other words when you're reaching to a place that you have not been before there is a reaching into a vibration that does not feel normal to you that vibration is different from the vibration that you have previously established now when you reach in full resonance with the source within you the reaching isn't frightening the reaching isn't uncomfortable the reaching is life-giving the reaching feels like adventure and excitement and passion and enthusiasm but when you reach vibrationally without the resonance without the alignment without the blending without the full allowing of all that you are then that's when you feel uncomfortable that's when you feel negative emotion that's when you feel overwhelmed or that's when you feel frightened so everything that you feel everything that you feel is about the vibrational relationship between who you really are as a source energy being and who you're being right here right now as a result of what you're focused upon and if you can get it that in every moment that you are reaching source is appreciating you and adoring you so that you are less likely to be condemning yourself for whatever reason or anyone else you will go a long way in bridging or closing that gap between you and you you are source energy in a physical body 
and some of the thoughts that you think now that you're in this physical body don't allow the source that you really are to flow through you and when that happens you don't feel good so stop doing that <laughs> law of attraction won't really let you stop doing that all of a sudden because law of attraction is bringing to you other thoughts that are like that so you can't stop all of a sudden but you can start doing something else you're born with a guidance system that lets you know whether you are allowing the energy that creates worlds to flow through you unfettered in full blown fashion or whether you're pinching it off so it's important that you begin right now to care about how you feel it's really important that the way you feel be your top priority not just the way you feel about what others are doing but the way you feel within the thoughts that you are thinking you're going to be able to tell the difference between a thought that you are thinking that hinders you and a thought that you are thinking that gives you life and supports you you're going to get so good at being able to feel the dynamics of the thought when it's active within you that you're going to find yourself wanting to feast your mind on thoughts Esther was standing in the garden in Del Mar the other day looking at some beautiful succulents that had been planted a while before and they were just catching hold they were coming into their own and one of them was the most beautiful thing that she had ever seen and she's seen a lot of things but she has not been devouring things with her eyes she's been looking at the garden rather than looking at the garden and on this day she was looking at this beautiful plant and she felt the words formulate right in her mind I'm feasting on the beauty of this it was like she didn't want to let go of it it was like there was nothing in all of the world no more important thing to do in this moment in time than to let this beautiful object of her attention just refresh her and refuel her and as she stood there and looked at it and felt life sort of flowing through her she thought and this is what we're wanting to give to you there is nothing other than this moment in time ever and you get to choose whether you're feasting your eyes or whether you're frittering it away on thoughts that are not worthy of the focus of your mind you see but in order to do that that was so good <laughs> but in order to do that in order to do that you've got to practice because you're not just all of a sudden going to start seeing the world through the eyes of source you've got to practice your way into that a little bit at a time it will feel so natural to you every time you feel exhilaration you're right there stop and milk it and talk about what you were feeling exhilaration about it write it down tell others about it and every time you feel a diminishment in your emotion don't tell anyone about it and don't write it down don't blog about it don't keep it going so when you understand that you came from this place of source and that you're returning to that place of source so as you've been banging around here in your physical body you've been finding different things to focus upon and in varying degrees you have allowed or disallowed your resonance with all of that if you're one who has consistently allowed your resonance with this source then while you were in your physical body you were joyful you were tuned in tapped in turned on you were of value to others you were what someone would call an uplifter you sort of bring a bright light everywhere you go people feel better in interacting with you but if you've been someone who's been frightened or afraid or angry if you've practiced those vibrations of pushing against so you've managed to pull yourself apart is too strong of word and separation is too strong of word too but you've managed to introduce enough resistance into your day-to-day -day patterns of thought that you've held yourself in a place of let's say honoriness or let's say pessimism but the source within you is still who you really are and in the moment that you withdraw your attention from this time space reality and so you are no longer introducing the resistance into the equation which is what is causing the pulling away from who you really are when that focus stops you move right into that pure positive energy so the only dark side is the dark side that human creates here in physical form while he uses all kinds of excuses to separate himself from the source within him